Hello, this is a quick tutorial to show off a technique I discovered in www.thelightswritestudio, that's thelightswritestudio.com slash tutorials dash pdf dot htm in particular this one called restore those clipped channels okay it's a great PDF. Download it. I am merely doing a video version of the material that's in here for those that like to watch videos on my site. But do visit the website and enjoy the beautiful uh, photography and the great tutorials there. Now what we're doing is we're taking this picture that was taken in bright sunlight and in the very bright sunlight, very saturated colors, will tend to cause clipping even if your camera doesn't tell you there's any uh, overexposure. The reason is, is that it cameras average generally and didn't catch that the reds here had been clipped out, meaning they've been overexposed, creating a spike that uh, is a loss of detail. All these details have been wiped out. But um, this can be restored so you get rid of some of the posterization and get rid of this oversaturation look and particularly this reddish orange look because the red has spiked out. Uh, we're going to use a thing called a saturation mask which is available uh, by using the HSB filter that's available on your extras disk in the Adobe Photoshop CS uh, installation disks. Okay, It's in the first of the special Create a Suite Extras Discs. You go in there to the Goodies folder and from there into the Photoshop CS folder and the Optional Plugins folder. In there you'll find, yes quite deep, the Photoshop Only folder and in there the HSL and HSB Filter folder where you will find what we need. Take this and you're going to drag this into your Photoshop plugins folder in the Photoshop CS folder in the plugins into the Adobe Photoshop only into the filters and there's where it will be. Now mind you you're getting the 8BF part not the write-up okay and just drop it in there. Now when you start up Photoshop or restart Photoshop you will have these this filter will now appear in your filter other section. There it is HSB HSL. Now to use this to get the saturation mask we're going to use the S part of this. So you want to make image duplicate apply this filter other HSB RGB to HSB it will become this psychedelic mess. The channels, what's going on is the hue has been mapped to the red channel, the saturation to the green, and the lightness, similar to the LAB lightness channel, to the blue. We are interested in this green here. It's the only place you can get a saturation mask. Select, right click and select duplicate channel. Put it into the original and give it a name. Sat mask, for instance. There we are, now we're done. It's in the original. I can close this without saving. Now control or command click on a Mac to turn that into a selection. Go back to RGB layers and let's add a hue saturation adjustment layer. It will take on your selection as a mask and we only want to affect the yellows here. So let's pull down that saturation a good 14, 15 or so. Let's uh, up the lightness a little bit to match the lightness in the center area with the uh, edges. And you see what I'm doing here. See, it's before and it's after. And we still have a little bit of that reddishness. So I'm going to shift this three or four. I'll go with four to make this a greener effect. We're shifting that reds over to the greens in the yellows only. Okay, there we go. Now it looks much more natural. Now we're going to use that channel again. I'll control click or command click on it. 
and make another adjustment layer to add some more intensity using a selective color. I'll just affect the yellows and up those yellows up a, up a whole bunch. How you like that? And I'm using it with the absolute mode. And what's that doing is it's overall it's making a nice richer yellow effect. Again, counteracting that green greening, and uh, and the lightening that I had done in the middle, which somewhat grays things out when you use the lightness in the hue saturation, and uh, brought it back to that daylily marvel. Okay, now that's not the only place you can use a saturation mask. You can also use it to bring up saturation in pictures that already have a whole lot of saturation. So using the hue saturation command at all or control at all would oversaturate those already very saturated regions like the yellow in his pants and these blue boats here. However, look how grayed out the woods are looking and uh, etc. Well, you'll see in a minute the improvement that takes place. So again, go to image, duplicate, and I apply our filter under other HSB. It turns to the psychedelic. Select the green, right click, duplicate the channel, but this time invert it. Apply it to the original set mask. You can now close it. Control click to select it. Go back to the RGB. And now add your hue saturation adjustment layer. It takes on the mask, and let's go ahead and saturate the thickens out of this thing. And we can do this to the master. It's okay to affect everything. We're protecting anything that's saturated using that mask from being increased while everything else got a nice increase. So there's before and after. You notice the greens are richer, the wood is nice and rich. And we've got a uh, much more you know, enjoyable popping image here as a result uh, of using the saturation mask. Again, look how much nicer the greens have been brought out. And, uh, and this overall picture just has much more intensity. And uh, without having oversaturated areas that if we had, here I'll turn off this mask by alt clicking on it. Oh, actually, no. Shift clicking. Shift clicking turns off the mask. And now you see this amount has oversaturated the pants and oversaturated these blues to where they're absolutely glowing. So bring back that and it pulls all that back where those greens and blues are not oversaturated and we get a nice effect. So there's again before, kind of gray looking and after. Well, I hope you make some use out of this effect. Remember, we inverted the mask to use it to control the hue saturation as a master overall. And we did not invert it when we were using it on the flower in order to desaturate just oversaturated areas and pull back, converting it from this glowing thing to that much more natural greenish yellow effect that they really that those flowers actually have all right well i hope you found this thing very enjoyable and i hope you can find the um the filter on your disc um if you have trouble finding it i know you can search around it's a few people have made it downloadable uh, for those that don't have the extras disc but uh but find it load it into your photoshop uh into your plugins, Adobe Photoshop only, filters area, and fire away. Enjoy!